Welcome back to the show. Kanye West has been suspended from Twitter for violating the site's rules against incitement to violence. An archived version of the rapper's account showed an image of a swastika inside a Star of David, which was posted earlier this morning following an interview appearance in which he said he, quote, loves Hitler. Well, Twitter is reportedly offering sweetener deals as advertisers turn their back on the platform. The Financial Times reports that emails it has seen show that Twitter is willing to match spending up to $1 million for advertisers who pay at least $500,000. Arjun, as ever, joins me around the desk to break it all down for us. I read a report last week from Media Matters for America saying that half of Twitter's top 100 advertisers appear to no longer be advertising on the website. Hence this push now out of Elon Musk to get people back on the website. But break down what, what this Financial Times is, is suggesting, this Financial Times report is suggesting, because it, because it seems like a case of buy one, get one free. Yeah, it certainly is. What effectively the, the FT's reporting is that, say you're an advertiser, you pay half a million dollars for advertising on Twitter, then Twitter will give you half a million dollars extra of advertising free. And depending how much you pay, there's different incentives uh, to that effect. Um, clearly, there has been concern amongst advertisers up after Elon Musk took this company over that, it effectively turned into a free-for-all in terms of uh, anyone being able to see anything. And we have certainly seen some teething problems. You saw when they uh, prematurely uh, you know, launched that Twitter verified service, users were impersonating other celebrities, mm -hmm. verification was a mess. And now clearly Elon Musk is figuring out what to do with that. And, and then we've got the Kanye issue yep. as well. Yep. Uh, where are Elon Musk's red lines mm -hmm. in terms of content moderation? And that's something advertisers are still trying to work out. Yeah, and I think you know what's really interesting here is his, his assumption is that it is an economic consideration for the advertisers to get back in again that if he offers these sweeteners if he gives these deals one-to-one -one, whatever up to a certain amount then they'll come flooding back in again but the advertisers are saying no we actually have an ethical reason for not getting involved here we're concerned about the direct the direction of travel for this platform where it's headed and the type of content that's going to be uploaded onto the social media platform and we don't want to be associated with that. Yeah, and what they care about most, of course, ultimately is whether their ad ends up next to a tweet that's right. massively exactly. inappropriate. Exactly. And that's the be all right. and end all. If right. the platform is flooded with such tweets, that will be a concern for advertisers in the long run. And look, mm. Twitter has struggled for years to be profitable, uh, to s have advertisers amid growing competition. Not only have you got uh, Facebook and Instagram, but you have mm. Snap. You now have TikTok. Yeah. And well, that's you. Which is also why Elon Musk is trying to introduce the subscription model, but was trying to do it via the verification process. Talk us through what's been happening there, because they were supposed to launch another verification process today, weren't they? Well, Elon Musk said it should be launching today. This was last week. We've had conflicting reports since that actually it's been postponed again. Where uh, uh, That's from platform or a newsletter. Uh, the information reporting it will launch uh, today, but only on iOS. What we know so far is this is going to be $8 a month. There's going to be different levels of ticks, different colors. Gold for companies, gray for government accounts, and blue for businesses. Uh, the issue I mentioned there where users were impersonating celebrities, yeah. Elon Musk's suggestion is to make that uh, this uh, account sort of verification manually authenticated, which of course would be a huge task uh, as well. So that's what we know so far. And they so fire far. half the workforce, they, so they don't have enough people to do it. That's the difficulty. Mm. And that also applies to content moderation too. One, one thing advertisers are concerned about is, well, are there enough people to moderate the content effectively? Mm.